Okay, awesome. Let's turn this. Hold on, Mick. I know you're excited. Give me a minute. I know I'm slow. I can't keep up with you. Today is big test day for Mickey. Oops. Yes, good. Is what I'm trying to do is here I'm having Mickey problem solve. This is something we, we don't really uh, do with our dogs anymore at all. They never really have to think through what needs to be done. We either tell them what they need to do or we yell at them and they don't do it. Uh, we rarely let them uh, solve problems for themselves. So here is what I'm going to do is I'm not going to tell or indicate to Mickey what I want at all. Uh, Mickey's going to have to figure it out uh, if he wants the treat. He's gonna have to figure out uh, what it is that I want. So uh, there we saw a sit. Um, that's what I wanted, we gave it. Now I want a D-O-W-N. That was a creepy noise. We have cats here and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared of cats. And that thing just made a really creepy noise. Ooh. Nikki, you better protect me. If those cats come and get me, you gotta get you gotta protect me. Promise? Uh-uh. Yes, very good. Very good. So there we heard uh, he goes, wait, the sit worked last time. Good job, we'll find it. The sit worked last time. Why is it not working this time? So you hear that little vocalization, vocal, vocalization, frustration. And then he Figured it out, he solved the problem. I want the same behavior again. Uh -huh. Yes, very good, much quicker that time. Uh, I use, uh, uh, you probably heard, I use that as a no reward marker. It doesn't mean something negative. As you heard how I said it, 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 it has the same tone of everything else I say. Uh, it just means that's not gonna get you the treat, try a different behavior. And as soon as I gave him the no reward marker, he switched the behaviors he was giving. So we're gonna try again. Now I want an SIT. Yes. SIT. Yes. Good. D-O-W-N. Uh-huh. Yes, very good. Super quick on changing that. Oh, what's another? Behavior. Honestly, I don't care what the next behavior he gives me is. I don't want a, a sit or a down. I don't know what he's going to give me, but he'll get... Hi. How about... Yeah, you're going to stay over there, okay, kitty, kitty? I don't like... I'm, I, I'm pretty certain every cat is trying to kill me. So I'm very uncomfortable around them, and they know it, and they feel it, so they're going to like claw my eyes out or something. It's making weird noises, so it's extra freaking me out. Okay, Mick, ready? So remember, I'm not looking for anything specific. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. frustration can drive behavior. Too much frustration can completely shut down behavior. So say I were to just sit there and continue to do nothing. It's what's called learned helplessness. They learn that nothing they do anyway results in the treat, so they better quit giving anything in general. I don't want that to happen. I let a little bit of frustration go to see if it's going to make him really think it out, and then if he's having difficulties, I give him that hint. There I gave him that hint. So we're going to try that again. I guess the behavior I'm looking for since I rewarded that was a stand. So we'll check it out again. Uh -huh. Nice job. 
job. Gave that hint again. We got really vocal. Didn't want to frustrate him too much. Ah. Ah. Yes. Good job. Good job. He gave me a different behavior. So I like that. Ah. That, that's more thinking he has to do. You saw me doing weird things with my body. Um, I was really trying to indicate with body language uh, for him to do something. Um, it probably was weird for him. I know it was weird for him because it felt weird for me. So I get where he could be confused with that. Thinking very good there. Uh, 
uh, nice, quiet, uh, in-depth. Cool, good, nice job. The, uh, that time he, when he is doing his vocalizations, he's not thinking. Uh, that time where I, I was tapping my foot, he was sitting there thinking that whole time, like, okay, what do I do, what do I do? That's the thinking I want. I know I'm making you use your brain a ton today. You're going to be so sleepy. Oh, that's cheating. It just dropped. Treats. Oh, yes, you found the treats I dropped. Yes. Oh, good job. Too quick. Too quick, though. Exhausted just from that. That was a ton of, of problem solving and learning that his brain is going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm fried. So not only is he going to be physically fried, but he's going to be mentally fried. Okay, I want to kind of go back to, um, ooh, it's yes. uh, The trick I was talking about with him retrieving, I wanted him to try something that's difficult for him. I want to start really challenging him both mentally and physically. Um, so I've got this rope and I want to, what is this? What is this? 
Wait, yes. Oh, ah. Can I have this? What's this? Huh? <laughs> you remember what we did? I know it's been a while. Yes. Good. So I rubbed the tree down there as a reminder. Yes. Good. And as soon as his nose hits, Very good. This is where that problem solving comes in handy. He knows there's some relevance to this. Yes, very good. Awesome job. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. He's just like, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yes, very good. I want him to know that, no, I'm not foot targeting here. That's his, his, his go-to. He loves foot targeting. Yes, very good boy. Dad, good boy. and moving from there because I want one behavior to signal another to signal another. So we're going to start uh, the very first uh, behavior we're going to learn, which is the last behavior of retrieving, is having it in your mouth and giving it to me. So that's what we're working on right now. And he's getting so much closer. He's, he bit it twice today. And that went from on Monday, I think he nibbled on it. I think I did get him to nibble on it, but nothing like um, I had gotten today. So that, that's huge, a huge improvement. So that's our first step I wanna get. I wanna get where he's holding it, he just grabs it in his mouth and then I take it. 
uh, that step. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the ground. He's going to pick it up and give it to me. Uh, then we're going to get it farther. I'm going to move it farther and farther away. Pick it up, give it to me. Farther up, pick it up, give it to me. Pick it up, give it to me. And now we're, we're seeing uh, that behavior of where I'm going to throw it, have him wait for it, tell him to go get it. He's going to go get it and then bring it to me because we've broken up those steps and one leads to another leads to another. So um, that's the process of which we're learning this. And he's doing great, uh, the progress that I saw it. Good job, you did so good. It is amazing. I didn't get this on video, so I started uh, our session downstairs and um, we did his handstands again because I'm just amazed. Uh, that's one of the tricks that I, I love so, I, I, just, I just realized I want to teach him something else. Um, it's one of the tricks I love so, so, so much. Um, just, I don't know why, why do I love it so much? I don't know, but I was working with it for just for years and he still can't get it. So I, I think I, right when I saw it, I'm like, oh my God, I love this. Um, I just thought of this, we were gonna be done, but you know what, I have time, so who really cares, is I wanna teach him a rebound trick. I, I feel like Mickey is so funny, he's like the replacement for like, like I'm living vicariously through Mickey, like all the tricks goose is not getting a grasp of right now. I'm like, I'm gonna teach Mickey. I just love teaching this stuff. So, you know, regardless if he gets it or not, you know, who cares? I just like them to be learning. And um, yeah, this isn't really a huge fan. We'll see if Mickey is. If he is, great. If not, no big deal. All right, so a rebound is, I've seen little dogs do it. I think the biggest dog I've ever seen do it was a Border Collie, which is why Goose is not good at it. Um, a rebound is where they uh, bounce off of something. They'll like bounce off the wall. They'll uh, you know bounce off your body, and you can like throw a ball to them. And, you know, it, it's it's that behavior. Uh, I like to teach it not on my body. In um, when I first teach it, I like to teach it on a object. I need a wall here, but I have no wall space. Are we gonna hit? Okay, good. We're not gonna hit. Okay, I'm gonna turn this a little bit. All right, Schmicky, are you ready? Ready, ready, ready. So, how I'm gonna start this behavior? I have my leg here. Ready? Ready, ready, ready. Let's go. Oh, this is really steep. I didn't realize how steep that was. There we go. Okay, let's try again. Ready? Ready, ready, ready. Yes, 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 yes. Very good. Awesome job. Okay, ready, man? So I want him to have momentum. So I started back here. Ready, ready, ready? Yes! Very good. So I started back here. Ready, ready, ready? Yes! Very good. Oh, sorry. Good. You didn't even have momentum and you figured that out. I was confused. Okay, ready? Let's go, let's go. Yes! Good. Nice job. Oops, let's get a couple more. Good job. Good job. This is much more fun than our, our boring morning stuff. He's so bored, because I feel like he knows the fun stuff is coming, so he gets really bored. Good! With our beginning stuff, so our beginning stuff, going on the treadmill, doing our stretches. He's like, oh, I know the fun stuff's gonna come. And he seems to really liven up with this fun stuff. So I'm glad that I started adding this in as well. Now we're working physically and mentally. Yes, good. Very nice. Ready? Rebound. Yes, good. Let's see if I can use my foot less. Oh, that's cheating! That's a free treat. Ready? Rebound! Yes! Nice job. There, I didn't even have to use my foot as a as a um, prompt. There. Ready? Rebound! Yes, very good. So as you see, this is at a I don't know angle. I'm not really good with angles here. Yes! Good job. Um, but we will slowly, the idea here is he's gonna be able to do this eventually off a of flat surface. Um, oops, okay, got your treat. He's gonna be able to do this off a of flat surface. So say a wall, I would say rebound, he's gonna rebound off the wall. Um, say it is my leg, I would say rebound, he would jump off my legs and I could throw a ball and he would retrieve it after, you know, 
uh, going off my legs. Uh, so this is the starting. This is how we started. Ready? Rebound. Yes. Good. You're not hanging out on there. You're just jumping over, right? Rebound. Oh, that was cheating. All the way up. Yes. Good. Beautiful. Rebound. Yes. Very nice. Rebound. Yes. Very good. Ready? Rebound. Yes. Good. Nice job. Rebound. Yes. Very good. Very nice. So I've increased our slope here. Ready, Mick? Ready, Mick? Rebound! Yes! Very nice. Rebound! Yes! Good job. Very good job. Hmm. So I'm realizing the surface is, is big. Uh, ideally, I would want just front feet, back feet off. Um, that's okay, though. That's okay. I'm gonna think of something. Okay, ready, Mick? Rebound! Yes! Good job. And I know you jump. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I've seen you jump onto Christina's table downstairs, so I know you physically can do it. Okay, we'll do this a couple more times. Now that he understands the behavior that I'm looking for. Oh, okay, I'm gonna jump off this. We're pretty steep there. That is a pretty steep incline. Ready, Mick? Ready? Ready? Come on. Yes! Very nice! Rebound! Come on! 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 Yes, 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 come on! Come on! I'm gonna put my foot there for him. Okay, ready? Come on! Come on! Yes! Yes! Beautiful! He's a little hesitant. He's like, this is steep. Uh, but he's got it. Okay, ready? Rebound! Rebound! Yes! Good! Nice job. Rebound. Yes, good. Beautiful. I'm going to end on that because that's perfect. That's awesome. That's so exciting. Look, you are tired. Here, get some water. Get some water, Rick. Here we go. Yeah, take a break. Very good boy. That's super good. All right, we're going to end with his uh, massage, uh, our cool down stretches. Uh, but he did awesome. I love doing this, you know, the fun, different stuff. It's, yeah, it, it's not necessarily stuff you're going to be using out in life. But it goes, I'm hot, Woo. making all that running. Um, but it goes beyond that because it gets their brain thinking. Uh, and when we get their brain thinking and problem solving, like you saw here, you're going to see him make better choices in his daily life to begin with. Uh, you know, we won't have to micromanage him as much because those decisions he's going to process and think them through rather than just acting on impulse. So he did super good. Super proud of him. Yeah, I need a cool down massage too, okay? Because I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna give you a massage and then you get on my back and you give me a massage. Yes, yes, yes. But he did awesome. I literally love the time I have with Mickey. I literally think I'm living like vicariously through him. Poor goose. He's gonna have to compare to you, Mick. Yes, he is.